All right, guys, we are here at Bet Francis Powerhouse Gym in Syosset, New York. We are 20 weeks out from the 2020 Olympics. 20 weeks out. What? 20 weeks out. 20 weeks out today. 20 weeks out today for the 2023 Mr. Olympia competition. Uh, it's good. We're here for a couple of days. We're here in New York. Then uh, tomorrow we have our seminar in New Jersey. So definitely looking forward to getting a really good training session in with Chris. Of all things, legs. And being at this gym, there's no shortage of leg equipment or any equipment. So thanks to Big Steve for, uh, for hosting us. It's gonna be a great, great day. And are you ready to do this or what? Born ready. Huh? Born ready. Born ready. Born ready. Myself. With BB guns or with knives? Knives. Throwing knives. Throwing knives? How about no, and, and, and ninja stars? What? And ninja stars? I'm not that excelled yet. Yeah. No ninjutsu skills yet. <laughs> you gonna touch that or not? Yeah. You're gonna pump a lot faster if you were to fix that. I don't know. Yes, I do 100% I know. I need an electrolyte. Okay, we'll do that too. <laughs> they didn't have, didn't have any. Tony drank my last cup. Find some. But you gotta remember, there's electrolytes in it too. A lot of other go, shit too. Go, go. Oh jeez. I just want to argue since we're here. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Firing through there. Good. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, Chris. Good. Good. Keep it moving. There you go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Go. Keep going. Good. Keep going. Good. Three. Good. Two. Good. 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 About four or five warm-up sets, and then two working sets on leg extension. Uh, went pretty close to failure. Just really assessing kind of where his strength is, because with all the traveling, that's the biggest thing you always are concerned about is keeping his strength up. Size is not an issue because he's been eating, but he has been doing more higher volume. Now we're trying to bring in a little bit less volume, but a little bit more weight, try to get strength up. Why are you trolling the troll? You're a troll, you troll me. <laughs> We're hitting legs today, so I feel like all I ever filmed for YouTube now is legs. And my legs are small, so hopefully by the end of the series, my legs won't be small anymore. Training one specific question: strength or volume? Right now? Yeah. Strength. 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 Twenty weeks out, trying to get strong yeah. as fuck. Well. Yeah. Let's build density. That's strength. Right. That's right. Then we up the volume with the strength. That's right. Deeper in prep. That's right. And you get huge and shredded. That's right. It's a secret. Wow. I didn't he's even actually, ask him. Actually, he's taking notes now. He's actually 
paying attention. <laughs> I've subconsciously done this my whole career. I just didn't know why it was working, you know? Yeah. I was, no, you actually you didn't do a lot of volume before. No, I never did a lot of volume before. It was just strength, like always. Yeah. It's when I was young, though, it helped me keep my muscle on. When it, I didn't have mature muscle. Absolutely. It helped me stay, keep my muscle while I was dieting. So, yeah, because it's so dense muscle. Yeah. But now I'm old and it's, it hurts me. Yeah, and you're more likely to hurt, get hurt. Yeah. When you go too heavy. If I get a BBL like that, will my squat be stronger? If you did what? If I get a BBL? No. No? No. BBLs and squats do not equate to heavier squats. Men can dream. Working? Alright. Come on. Show me. Let's go, Chris. Come on. Easy. Easy. Let's go. Easy. Your gonies are too small to teabag. My balls are big, but my sack is small. So is Canadian Joe. What did it say? It says my balls are big, but my sack is small. <laughs> I have no idea what it means. <laughs> Me either. Never heard of it. I have the higher number. So it's easier here? No, because you, you always have the higher number and I always have the lower number. So it's the Canadian exchange rate. US reps versus Canadian reps. <laughs> crazy heavy. Legs are actually looking much fuller than I was gonna, I was assuming he was gonna be a little flatter from all the travel, but it's actually sticking pretty good, at least on the right leg. <laughs> I didn't even hear you, but I know you're talking shit. and then leg press. Come on, Chris, keep going. Push, push. Good. Let's 
See, the density in your upper quad right now is really good. Like, you can, like, it doesn't really show it much in here. Like that part? Yeah, because your legs don't normally look that big. From what I've seen. Not bad. All right, guys. So we just got done doing a leg press. We did a, several different pressing motions. Awesome pump, great fullness. Now we're gonna focus on continuing to try to build up the strength, finish off with a little bit of adductor, and then head to Jersey. So again, awesome gym. If you're ever, ever, ever on the East Coast, you wanna come to the East Coast Mecca. Um, I, I honestly miss this place. I haven't been here since the, before the pandemic. So I uh, forgot how great it actually is because it's been so long, but um, amazing vibe, awesome equipment. And Steve does a great job changing up the equipment, putting in new equipment. When he finds something better, he swaps out at all the other older equipment that's just like, isn't maybe as good as whatever's coming out. And he just, I see a ton of new stuff in here. So again, kudos to him and his whole entire team. Um, and uh, we're gonna get ready to go do this seminar.